What's going on you guys? So it's definitely been a minute since I've put a video out and that's primarily because I've been super busy trying to get moved into my new house and uh, getting the shop set up. So the garage and the shop area is actually pretty well set up now. Obviously I'm missing some useful tools that I used to have like for example a hoist since it will not fit in this garage with the low ceiling heights. But other than that, welder's all set up. I got an air compressor all plumbed, lines are hooked up. And you know, I already started doing a little bit of welding and fabrication out of here. So I figured, why don't I give you guys a little bit of a tour of the new shop and the setup. So for starters, you know, we have a pretty decent sized pad back here. Enough room to park my trailer. Uh, single wide door on this side, which is the shop side. And then a uh, double wide door over here, which is primarily the, uh, the fabrication area on this side of the garage here. Now having my trailer here blocking this door is uh, kind of a bit of a problem. So I might need to scooch this trailer over a little bit so I can get a, another car in there. So one of the first things I did when I came in here was I hung up LED lighting because it was really terribly lit in here. So we hung up the, the LED lights in here and then we went ahead and got all my fabrication stuff kind of like stuck into this corner. So I had to wire up a 220 outlet down there. Luckily the breaker's right there so it made it like super easy. Still got my bench so I was able to get all my, my cutters and grinders drill press, all that stuff set up. You know, up here we have some clamps, some fabrication tools, drills, grinders, a buffing wheel that I've literally never used. And then I went ahead and kind of just stacked one of these shelves up that just has like some material and like some little necessity stuff like that all over there. A bunch of this wood was here when I moved in. So it's came pretty handy with some stuff so far, but you know, I was going to throw it out and I was like, ah, I'll just keep it. Now, one thing I did need to do in this garage was plumb it for the airline. So I actually went ahead and plumbed a airline fitting right here, which is for uh, the fabrication area when I need to use my grinders and stuff like that. I do want to extend this up. So like put a 90 off of it and a T so I can have my quick push lock uh, hose right there. And then also do a like a drop reel over on this side because I do think I might need a drop reel over here, so I'm probably gonna throw one of those up in here. But other than that, I mean, I have a lot of room here. So like, I'd like to put maybe like a, uh, a lathe in over here or something like that. Just like some equipment that would actually help me out. But this area is primarily where I'm going to be doing all of my fabrication. So like I said, scrap material right there, I've got Cutters, grinders, bench right there, welding, fabrication, and then, you know, just some more, you know, consumables and stuff up in this shelf here. Still got to put some stuff away. Like that whole little craftsman thing is filled with tools and stuff like that. But it is nice having this whole area, like, kind of separated from the other side of the shop, which we will go into right now. And this is where I'm going to be doing most of my recording and stuff like that. So a little studio set up over there. Turn this light on. I went ahead, hung up some brighter lights in here. Got the car set up on jack stands already. Hung up this little fender from the, uh, God, these fit so much better than those. I'd really like to put stock fenders back on this thing. And then this cabinet, I've got, you know, parts, some Canton pans, a lot of Canton products for the Mustang and the other engine I'm building, boxes of tools, so they're not taking up space in my toolbox. And, you know, just like parts, little parts cabinet. It's kind of nice to just have a cabinet that, like, put stuff like that inside of and then over here we have another drop down airline right here 
Uh, I don't have a reel on it right now, and I don't even think I have like a hose to hook up to it, but it does have a fitting there. So if I need to, you know, use an airline over here, I can. And then right here, we have a big fan. So if I'm ever doing anything stinky, or yeah, maybe I do a garage burnout. If I do a garage burnout in here, then, uh, then we can clear the smoke out through that, that guy right there. So that'll be nice. Then we got some pegboard over here. Just kind of got some of the wire hung up, some D-band clamps, hoses, uh, little things with, you know, little trays to put stuff in. Kind of like all the same stuff I had set up at the old house. Just, you know, one little spot of pegboard over here to kind of take care of that. And then I got my camera and lights all set up over here for, you know, when I'm trying to do some some nice B-roll or whatever, or talking head stuff. Uh, it's nice to, you know, just kind of have all these little lights and stuff. I got this monitor right here. Just made this yesterday. A little monitor stand to roll the TV around. Because, uh, I mean, that camera is nice. It's really nice for doing some stuff. But when I'm trying to do, like, walk around talking stuff like this, that thing is, like, impossible to use. It doesn't have autofocus. It's big and heavy. But it does take really, really good, clean, crisp video for uh, doing like B-roll stuff, so that's nice. Over here we got the bench. Nice big workbench that they left here. Like I said, finished doing some plumbing on some lines and stuff over here. It's got air in it. Drop reel. Put my uh, speakers and Xbox in here. Press. And then up in here we have some electrical stuff, some rib nuts, loom for all my wiring, like hardware containers, shrimp wrap, you know, it's like hardware and electrical necessities, keep that stuff all in there. Then back in here I finally got this set up. I was on the light switch. Boop. Back in here, I finally got this stuff set up. Might want to put some more lights in here, but like right here, I have you know an LS2 block, engine hoist, stand, T56 trans, spare parts. It's kind of like a, a larger parts department area. So turbo kit, we got some, some turbos, intake manifold. I ended up picking up uh, this compressor from Harbor Freight, it was on sale for like, I think it was 400 bucks, and it seems to work good. It's not enough to like run a plasma cutter or, you know, anything crazy, but for stuff I wanna do right now, it, it'll work fine and get the job done. If I ever wanna get like a CNC plasma table or something like that, I would need to upgrade that because that would not be big enough to actually run that. It doesn't have enough CFM, but yeah. This is the new shop. So yeah, this is uh, my new garage. Kind of a quick little tour. Uh, I'm still obviously have a lot of stuff I need to get set up in here. It's not fully finished yet. I do want to get like the wall that I have over here kind of like finished up and get some shelving put up, stuff like that. As for getting to work on the car, I do need to get back to doing that stuff. Uh, definitely need to build an exhaust for it before I can actually drive it because the last exhaust did get destroyed. So. You know, right now with the, the turbo kit that's on it, if I needed to, I could run that because, you know, the old turbo did bolt right up. I just got to, you know, adapt a charge pipe deal and make that work. But the actual exhaust needs to be built. So I'm probably going to try and get some aluminum ordered up for it here soon so I could build a new exhaust for it. Uh, as for, like, my schedule and, like, uploading videos, I'm not really too sure what that's going to be like because I am super busy with everything going around the house and trying to get situated and like just shit like replacing gutters and you know patching drywall and shit like that so i've been pretty busy the last couple weeks but i'm gonna try and get out here you know at least once a week or once every other week and do something get out of the house you know but anyways that's gonna be it for this one so like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you're new follow the build along because we are gonna have to get back to this car soon and until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.